What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and I made a website. Okay, so I know I don't talk about the state of the channel too often, and honestly, it's because I use every last second I have to get a video up by the end of the week. But man, when I get a chance to think about what JSO Overview has really become, it's kind of mind boggling. I would have never thought the channel would see the growth that it has, and it has truly evolved into becoming something more than just a hobby. And one of the big milestones I was able to complete at the end of 2019 was formally making JSO Overview a business. And by business, I mean single member LLC. And though the primary reason of doing so was for tax purposes, I thought to myself, hey, if JSO Overview is going to be a business, I probably should get a website. And dude, it worked out perfectly because at the beginning of 2020, the company Wix reached out and wanted to see if I'd be interested in putting together a tutorial video of how to put together a website using their services, which was awesome because I was legit really thinking about doing one. And in a way, this kind of forced me to do it and not put it off like I'm pretty sure I would have done. But more importantly, it gives me the opportunity to show you guys how to get from here, an intimidating blank canvas to a super high functioning website. Now, two things. One, Wix is sponsoring this video, and I understand that that can give off the impression of a conflict of interest. But really, this is just a tutorial, and my intent is to show how Wix works. At the end of the video, you guys can decide if it's right for you or not. Okay, number two, I have zero background in web design or web development. I basically came into this as inexperienced at website building as possible, just level setting with you guys in case you guys think you need to have that sort of background. And look, if you're not interested in learning how to make a website and you guys just wanna see the one I put together, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Leave me a comment on what you guys think. I would really love your feedback. And I promise, back to the normal reviews starting next week. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to Wix.com. It begins with a very simple questionnaire. It asks who you wanna create this site for. Now I'm doing it for myself, so I'll click on myself. And then it asks you to fill out what type of site you want it to be. Now, even though I intend to make this a semi-business website, I'm gonna choose blog for now as it's really an arm to my YouTube channel. Next, it takes you to a page where you can choose from two options. The first one is letting Wix ADI basically create a website for you. They ask you some questions and then they literally pump out a completed website. Now that's awesome. But for the intent of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create one virtually from scratch. So I'm gonna choose the option on the right and then click on choose a template. When you do, you'll be taken to a different page that has a ton of different website templates on it. But I really wanna start from ground zero. So I'm gonna click on this blank templates option here and then click on the start from scratch. Once you do that, you get a new window that opens and bam, you've got what essentially is a blank piece of website paper. Now to give a very simple and easy to follow breakdown of how the sheet is broken out, you have your website header on top, you got the primary body of the website in the middle, and your footer at the end. Now I'm going to start with the body of the page as that's the primary content area of most websites. And what you want to do is click on this plus button on the side here, and once you do, you'll see a ton of things that you can add to your site, ranging from images, buttons, text, etc. But I want to start with some kind of intro welcome to the website. So I'm going to go here under strip. It's broken out by category, so I'm going to look under welcome, and you'll see some templates that you could use to get started. I'm going to use this one because if you look here, it has a video icon on it, so it's using a video. And I think it'll be cool to have the welcome part of the website be somewhat dynamic. So I'm just going to double click on it and boom, it's added to your blank site. And if you want to take a look at how it looks without any changes, just click on this button, change strip background, and then press the play button here. And you can see how the strip looks with the video playing, which is pretty cool. Now, the first thing I'm going to do to start customizing this is drag the strip up into the header. I know it's kind of odd, but when I get back to the header, I'll show you why I did this. And of course, I need to change the text here. I'm going to type in JSL review. I'm going to check out some different fonts. I like this Oswald's extra light. It looks super clean. I'm going to go into effects and add some sort of drop shadow to make it pop a little bit and maybe mess around with the spacing of the letters. Now this strip comes with a button beneath the text and I want that button to actually take people who click on it to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on the button, change the text to view channel and below it, there's an option to add a link. I'm going to click that, click on web address then I'm going to put in JSL Reviews URL, and I'm going to make it so when people click on it, it'll open in a new window. I'm going to click Done, and the button is now mapped to my channel. I'm going to click on this Preview button on the upper right-hand corner, which shows you what your website will look like. It's already looking super clean, and if I click on the View Channel button, you can see that it opens up a new window and takes me to where it's supposed to go. Super easy. So I'm going to go back to the editor. I want to make the button a different color, so I'm going to click on it. Click on this paintbrush button here, and I'm going to change the color to something darker and move it up a bit closer to the text. Boom. Okay, now it's looking pretty solid. Now the video in the background is pretty cool, but it's kind of irrelevant to my channel and what I do. So I'm actually going to change it to a video that I made 
I'm going to click on change strip background and then I'm going to click on this video button and you'll see an upload media option. And from there, you can upload files from your computer to add to your site. For the sake of time, I've preloaded everything I need for the site already, including this video I want in the background. So I'm going to select it and press change background. You'll see that it takes me back to the site editor and the background has changed. I'll press the play button to show you what it looks like. Pretty cool, but I noticed a few things. First, with this change, the text in black is difficult to see. So I'm going to change that to white, reposition it and the button a bit. And the other thing I noticed is that the video in the background is kind of dark. I want to lighten it up a bit. So I'm going to click on change strip background, click on settings, and I'm going to adjust the opacity and color settings to make the background a bit lighter. And now that I look at it, I should change the color of the button too. So I'm going to click on it, press the paintbrush button, click on customize design, click on the fill color and opacity and change it to white so it pops a little bit better. And I'll change the text to black so people can actually read what the button says. Bam! Let's click on preview to see how it looks. All right, looking pretty great already. Okay, next I want to add an about me section. So I'm going to go back to the plus button on the left, go back to strip, scroll up to the about section, and this template looks pretty good. Let's double click on that. I'm going to change the text to say about me because I'm a one man operation here. Let's change the font to Oswald to match the title. Going to add a brief little bio underneath. And I want to add my picture here. So I'm going to click on the right hand portion of the strip, click on the change column background. I'm going to use the image I already uploaded from my computer here. All right. Okay. And now in order to make the text visible, I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to change the font to Oswald to make it a little larger again to match the theme we got going on. I'm also going to darken the image a bit to make the text more visible by adjusting the image opacity. Okay. There we go. That looks way better. Now, instead of having this read more button, I'm going to get rid of it because I'd rather click on the add button here, go to social, and I'm going to add a social bar instead. This style looks nice. Now, if you click on it, you can customize it, you can move the order around and delete the ones that you don't need, and then actually map them to the corresponding social media sites. After doing that, you want to make the icons a bit bigger. Okay, let's go to preview to see if the buttons are working. And yeah, you can see clicking on the button takes me to my YouTube channel. Okay, so the image on the left column, I want to see if I can find a different one that matches better with the aesthetic I have so far. I'm going to click on change column background and Wix has a direct link to images from Unsplash, this huge repository of super artsy high res photos. And it's awesome because there's a ton to choose from and they're all free. Now I'm going to speed this up because I went through a lot of them, but I found this one that's also black and white and I think it fits really well. Okay, next I'm going to go to the plus button to add another welcome strip to act as a bit of a divider within the site to focus in on the services my business provides. Okay, I like this one. It uses video again, so I'm going to double click it, get it underneath the about me section. I'm going to write out JSL review services. Let's change the font to Oswald, add the drop shadow. I'm going to delete the text underneath. Don't need that. I'm going to blow it up and center. All right, that's looking good. And as cool as this video is, again, it doesn't really match with what I provide in terms of services. So I'm going to click on change strip background. I'm going to click on video and this time go to media from Wix. This is a collection of short video clips Wix provides. Again, you have a ton of different types in different categories. And because this is the area in which I'm talking about what I can offer for services, I'm liking this studio filming video here. Going to select that and click change background. Okay, let's preview it to see how it looks. Yeah, looking really cool. Okay, next I want to add another strip, one that actually shows what services I can actually provide. Gonna select this one. Now this obviously needs to be customized if the format doesn't match at all, but gonna change out the title first. Let's get a new font on there. And then I want to change out the background of the column. So I'm going to click on the change column background. I'm going to click on image. I'm going to go back to unsplash and I want something tech related. So I'm going to do a search for iPhones or something. This one looks good. Let's go ahead and select it and change the background. Okay, now it's a little bit too bright. Need to darken it a bit so I can see the text. So I'm going to go to image settings and I'm going to darken it so it's just subtly there. I'm going to change the font color to white. Let's write out a brief description here. Now I want the button below to act as a way for interested parties to email me. So I'm going to click on the button, go to button design. I'm actually going to change it to this rounded button. It looks nicer. I'm going to change the opacity so it's more filled in. I'm going to change the text to say contact me to learn more. Then I'm going to click on this button here. Select email, going to type in the email address I wanted to go to. And now if anyone clicks the button, it'll open up their email to my email address. Okay. Want to do the same on the other side. I'm going to start by deleting everything in there first and finding a good background image, going through the same process using unsplash. And once I have the image selected and in, I'm going to actually copy and paste the text and the button over. So I don't have to waste time going through all that customizing. I could use what's already in place and just change the text, which is a huge time saver. Okay. The last thing for this strip need to change the two images here. So I'm going to go back into unsplash. I'm going to search around the business category. This one looks great. Let's get that in. Going to do the same on the other side. This one looks like a good one for reviews. Let's get that in. And man, 
this is really coming together. Okay, next, I'm gonna add another strip where I could showcase some of my top videos. This one looks good. We'll double click, get it in there. Let's update the text and change it to Oswald to match the styling. I'm gonna change the background using Unsplash for something better. This one looks great. I'm gonna darken it a bit. Now I'm gonna delete out these numbers here. I wanna click on the add button, go to image, then to my uploads, and I'm gonna use the thumbnails for the videos I wanna share. Once I got it on, I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna add a border to make it pop a little bit. Then I'm gonna click on this button here to add a link. So when people actually click on the thumbnail, it'll take them to the video. All I need to do is just add the video web address and it should be good to go. I'm gonna change the title so it fits the theme. We'll move it up a little bit and it's looking good. Now, just like last time, I'm gonna copy and paste the image to each column again to save time. Same with the text. And once I have everything lined up correctly, I'm gonna right click on the copy thumbnail and click on change image. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna do the same for all the others. Change the text and match each video to the respected URL. There we go. It's looking great. Okay, the last strip I wanna add for the main portion of the website is going to be a contact me page. I'm gonna use this template, but of course I wanna change the background. I'm gonna look through Unsplash. This image looks great and matches the overall theme. I'm gonna change the text and change the font a little bit. I wanna delete all the stuff under here and add another one of those social media bars. I'm actually just gonna copy the one I have from above and drag it down, rearrange it a little bit. Okay, that's looking nice. Now as a footer, I'm not gonna add too much. I'm gonna click on change footer design. I'm gonna change it to this dark gray color. I'm gonna adjust it so it's a bit smaller too. And all I really wanna do is add an email button. This button looks nice. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna center it. And I just gotta make sure that this goes to my email. And yeah, that's it for a footer. Okay, so to get back to the header, I'm gonna scroll back to the top and drag down the first strip here to see the header portion again. I'm gonna click on change header design. And for now, I'm just gonna choose this random color for the time being. Now I'm gonna go into the settings to change the color to white for the background. And then I'm gonna drag the strip back up and it's gonna kinda look like the header's gone. But if you right click in the header area, go to arrange and then bring to front, the header will show itself. First thing I'm gonna do is resize it so it's a bit smaller. Then I'm gonna click on change header design and make it a bit transparent so the strip behind it can peek through. There we go, that's starting to look great. Okay, now what I wanna do is have a menu on top that takes me to each section that I created on this website. And in order to do that, I need to add something called anchors. So I'm gonna to go to the add button, click on more, and you'll see anchors right here. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto the dividing areas between the top strip and the about me section, which is really easy. I'm gonna click on the anchor here to label it about, and then I'm gonna add anchors to all the other areas of the websites and label them accordingly. And once all the anchors are in place, I'm gonna click on the menu and pages button here, click on add a link, Click on anchor, select the first one about and label it with how I want it to look on the menu. I'm gonna do the same for the other anchors I created. I'm gonna rearrange them in the order I want. And once that's in place, I'm gonna go to the add button, click on menu, and you'll see a ton of different menu styles to choose from. I'm just gonna go with this basic one. It's pretty simple and clean. Now I'm gonna add it to the header by dragging it in there. I'm gonna move it to the right hand side of the site. There we go. Okay, let's preview it to see if the anchors are working. Yep, clicking on them will take me to where I wanna go, but I want the header to always be at the top even if I scroll down. So I'm gonna go back to the editor, click on the header settings, and click on freezes over here so it stays locked at the top. Let's preview it one more time. Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is add a logo. I'm gonna go to add image and add the black YouTube play button that I have here. I'm gonna add JSON review text next to it. I'm gonna change the font to the one that I use for my YouTube banner and resize and adjust it a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. And I wanna adjust the header size so it's a bit tighter. And yeah, that's it. Let's look at the preview. And man, this website is good to go. Now the last thing that I have to do is click on publish. Now I actually purchased the premium version of Wix, which actually comes with one year of me being able to use a custom URL. So I have mine set for jsreview.com. And once it's published, just open up a new browser, type in jsreview.com. And man, that is so satisfying to see. Okay, so I know it's not the best website in the world, but dude, I was legit surprised I was able to put this together. Again, I have zero experience with coding or web design, so I had very little confidence going into this. And I'm almost proud to share this with other people. So if you guys are looking to put your own websites together and you're a little bit intimidated by it, trust me, you're gonna pick it up quick and you'll be off and running on your own in no time. You guys can start creating using Wix using the link in the description below and you can start totally free. If you guys have any questions about what I covered in the tutorial, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get to you. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys find it useful. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.